This is some serious drunk hash. Is it drunk? It should be drunk. Maybe I can add some beer. Can I add beer? Sure, I can add beer. I'll add... I don't know if I want to add beer. I'm gonna add beer. I'm gonna add beer and make this drunk hash. I used to drink. I used to smoke. Welcome back to a brand new episode of The Drunk Chef. I know it's been a little while since I've been uh, doing any videos, um, but I'm up at the cottage for a couple days off, uh, actually a couple weeks off, which is going to be really nice, and I'm going to make a nice drunk breakfast slash lunch hash, um, and this is how you do it. So again, it's a breakfast hash. You want it nice and hearty. So I've got a bunch of potatoes, pepper, garlic. I'm going to use a bunch of eggs to finish it off. Um, some vegetable oil, I've got a bit of pork belly here I'm going to use, some sausages, paprika, jalapeno, onion, and a bit of salt, and we'll need some pepper too at some point. And, um, yeah, let's make ourselves some uh, hash. So obviously to cook we need to get a little bit of a fire going here, so let's get that happening, maybe? Hello? Oh, excellent. Um, so what we want to do is build a bit of a fire. Um, we don't need flames, what we need is uh, some nice hot, hot embers. So I'm not going to build a massive fire here, just a small fire um, and get a log going and then get a good, nice base of uh, flames for our heat. Okay, my fire's almost ready, like I'm just waiting for uh, to burn down a little bit more. Um, and I've got basically everything here. Um, basically I've got half an onion and uh, some pork belly. Uh, I've got a couple um, sausages. This is uh, four tablespoons of olive oil and two tablespoons of butter if you really want to know. I've got a couple eggs, uh, a couple big potatoes, red pepper, some jalapeno and garlic, and I've got a little more oil on top of that. And here's my spices, which is pepper and salt and paprika. So I'm basically going to get my pan nice and hot here, and then I'm going to add my butter and olive oil to that. Awesome. So to that I'm going to add my onion and my pork belly. So I'm just going to let this um, cook for a bit in the olive oil until the onions soften down. Maybe a couple minutes. So it's been a couple minutes, my onion's getting soft, and my pork belly is also um, starting to render out a little bit. I'm going to add uh, my vegetables to that, and as well as my sausage. So I'm going to add the sausage to this as well. I'm going to basically cook this for about 10 minutes, um, while everything sort of absorbs some of the oil and starts to get a little crispy, um, and then we'll go from there. So depending on how hot your fire is, um, or your embers, this could take a while. This is about about 5 minutes, and you see nothing's really browning too much yet. Um, that's fine, I'm stirring it every few minutes. Um, we'll keep doing that until it's, um, things are starting to brown out a little bit. So to this I'm going to add my spices. Give a bit of a stir. I'm also going to add a bit of beer. And now I'm just going to cover it up with uh, tin foil for a couple minutes. Let it steam a little bit. Hopefully. Okay, I've let the steam for a few minutes. Let's get the stuff off. Oh, look how good that looks. So now what I want to do is, um, basically I want to let some of that liquid boil off and render out. And um, then everything start to really start to brown up really, really nicely. Like I said, finally it's, I'm going to add three eggs, just on top. Okay, my eggs have almost set up. I think uh, this is pretty good. By the time I get back up to the cottage, um, they should be perfect. So let's go on up and uh, serve it up. Mm -mm -mm. 
So here's the final hash. Um, it smells good now that I'm in so I can actually smell it. How is it girls? You've had some already. Delicious. Good. You should make it. I did make it. No, not you. With these people who are watching. Oh, okay. Anyways, I hope you enjoy yours if you ever make it. Yeah, See you next you. time.